the final of the 888.com World Cup of Pool. It's a race to ten. The Philippines need just four more. They haven't been at their best, but they've been better right than their ten. opponents. Philippines three, leading six racks to three. Yeah, our eyes haven't deceived us, Phil. That's exactly the case. Settle down Sometimes then, it's not how good your good game is, it's how good your bad game is. And that's been the case for the Philippines here. Two balls straight into the corner. Now, is this one going to sit pretty for him? The one is, so is the two, so is the three. Been a little susceptible to the pressure. Corteza. Snatchy that one even. And cue ball a little short. Just to be a little careful. He's going to be bridging just over the eight with his hand. So. Six passes a seven into the corner. This gym is more a trademark rack than the Philippines. Much better, much more what we've been accustomed to. You know, form is temporary, but class is permanent, Phil. And this is a class pair. 7-3. The beat goes on for the Philippines. 3-2 they trailed. They pick themselves up off the canvas, and they've come back with a vengeance. Neil Swine feeling a little thirsty. That's what happens when you start to feel the nerves. Maybe they're starting to realize just the enormity of the task that faces them. It's bad enough when you're up against the Philippines on a level footing at nil-nil. 7-3 down in a race to 10 is not recommended. That was the last thing that Dutch fans and either Niels or Nick wanted to see was a break and run out and an easy break and run out. They're trying to stay positive, no head shaking, just trying to wait. I mean, this is very similar to what we saw with the Philippines when they played Chinese Taipei, and at that point it was 7 2. They waited for the chance when it came. They played themselves right back into it, got back to 7-7 before the Philippines secured the last two, and that was in the semis. So Holland can draw some spirit from that. This is an illegal break and a chance at the illegal one. Break. Here's the chance for the Dutch. Yes, just to repeat this break rule, it's a combination of balls parted and balls across the head string has to equal three. Well, one ball was spotted, the eight. Nothing across the head string at all. Not even close to a legal break. Settle down then, please. Nice and quiet. And what a chance okay. now. Are we going to see another swing of the pendulum here, Phil? Because oh. every chance this rack should go their way. They don't capitalize on this, it really is crisis time. Oh. 
That was a good shot. Pushing the five near the left-hand corner. He knew he was leaving his partner a nice angle on the three, but now from the four to the five, not nearly as tricky as it could have been. Good thinking there from Vandenberg. Niels and Nick put in a lot of time practicing. And it shows with how sound fundamentally they are. You watch that cue after it goes through the cue ball. Always on the intended line. Very little wavering. And all those sound fundamentals are geared to put you in good stead under pressure. is shaking his head. This is a familiar story. He's seen it before. Good shot from Vandenberg here again. This is the 31st match of the week and so often the turning point in all of them has been something to do with the break, either positive or more likely negative. Was in the semi finals between the Philippines and Chinese Taipei. At 7 7, Chinese Taipei scratched. It was all she wrote. Is this going to be a pivotal point as well? <laughs> Down it goes. That's a storyline <coughs> that Holland. Wants to see a little bit more of 7 4. They claw back on the comeback trail. And they know they've got the break in the next. Here's the break. Dennis Orcolio. Only the one ball down. In fact, during the whole tournament, I don't think we've seen a more blatant illegal break than that because, as you pointed out at the time, Jim, the second and third requisite ball crossing the head string was nowhere near. Well, I know we've had somewhere between 300 and 350 racks played in this year's World Cup of Pool. There's been one golden break where the nine has been made off the break. One break and... Over 300. Donald Peach? Correct. Three rack 12, Holland to break, and it's four rack to seven. Seven four. Niels Fyan would like to give you a carbon copy of what Daryl Peach did in England B's first round clash. Know whether you can cut this one into the side. It's a good break. But it may just be a little too thin to be able to snick this one into the side pocket, and especially queuing right over the six. It's a horrible shot, isn't it? thinking where they could push to from here. I mean, the safety from this position, certainly not too enticing. But where on earth could you push to that push out cold. would make it any better? Well, they've called the push. Maybe long and straight. Don't want to leave an angle. 
Don't like that shot. He's left him a little angle, and Dennis may be able to knock this in and get that cue ball near the middle of the table. That's a poor effort from Nick Vandenberg. Almost looked like he gave me an evil, evil stare there. A really bad shot, but horrible shot. Wasn't it? And a sweet pot from McCullough. But they do have one saving grace. It's in the form of that eight ball next to the nine. So they're going to have to do some work. The good news for the Philippines is the seven is in very close proximity to it. Chance to develop it. But they obviously got lots of work to do to get there. Well, Nick Vandenberg let off the hook. Not being unkind, I think he realizes himself a little embarrassed smile from Lee Van Corteza. He knows so far been the weakest link on these two. Now, is it worth Thank going at the bank? It may have fourth position to the three. Certainly a good aggressive safety on offer, taking the cue ball behind the colors at the bottom. unfortunate to have left the window there. Contact and desired. And what Nick is looking at right now is a path the cue ball will take because he wants to go with this too. Position not guaranteed. Bad. A chance. Niels is going to have to load the cue ball up with right hand spin. This is a huge rack in the race to 10. If they go 8 4 behind, I can't see any way back for them. But 7 5. Oh, what a good shot from Niels there. Invariably, as fine discovered a little earlier, when you miss a ball you should pot, you are punished. Maybe not immediately, but in the end. The culprit in this rack, Corteza. The big shot will come from the 7 to the 8. That's what they're working out now. Even where to position the cue ball to weld it behind the nine, playing safe. Or do you go to break it out? I think from this position they've got to break it out. I think they've got to take the aggressive path here. Perfect to open it up, and he knows it. I disagree with the shot selection. I think he should have checked it and tried to take the cue ball into the nine. Now, 
he may have him snookered here, but rest assured the jump cue will be coming out. And rest assured the Philippines are delighted, whatever the circumstance, to be back at the table. He had the perfect angle on that seven to dislodge the eight and nine. Perfect angle, and he elected to try and play safe, and he overhit it, and now a chance. Again, he's dropping his shoulder. He's throwing his shoulder into the shot, and everything is out of sync. But how easy is it for Holland to erase the memory of all those negative shots they've played? And Lee Van Cortez just gives him ball in hand. Relieved. That's the Dutch. 7 5. That is manageable. Lee Van Cortez struggling.